sure I'm not all wild in the wind and whatnot. Straighten it out. Yeah. Hey guys, Sid Survival Guide. <laughs> Hey guys and gals, Sid Survival Guide here for another adventure. I do not know how to pack this backpack. That is uncomfortable. I'll figure something else out with that, but we're gonna go up here and try to find a ferry house and see what we can do about having a little lunch. Showing you guys the Voorhees estate. Sounds creepy, doesn't it? But, let's go. Wow, I have put on some size. Heavy? Yeah. Big guy? Super tight. Look at you. Look at you. You got boobies. Like your pectorals are all sticking out. Yeah, like you're rocking it. That's right. <laughs> she said it's going to look like you're walking. What's that defense? Well, you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy though. She said it was falling. <coughs> oh. Leaves down. Yeah. And then you got to head up the mountain. Probably. Oh man. She said if it was fall, you could see it. I bet it in here, it's just. Oh, watch out. <laughs> About went down. Yeah, probably for boar. Oh, there it is. Right there. Look at him. Those kids love it. They would. <laughs> and there's nobody here. How cool is this? Look at the little water retention thing. Oh, sorry, baby. Babe, it had power. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. What? No way. That's awesome. That's super cool. Oh, wow. Somebody brought flowers recently. You see that? This is so cool. Water just coming straight out the mountain. It is. Literally. Yeah, water's coming out of the mountain right here, feeding right here. So Mr. Voorhees come out here in the 20s, started building this little area. Right at the time that he started building, it was the boundary for the National Park Service 
and they were concerned that they might have some issues dealing with Mr. Voorhees. Hopefully that's how you say his name. But it turns out through the entire process, he was extremely willing to work with, with anyone and everyone. So he built places like this ferry house. And apparently he built a lot of these storage, water storage and water catch, things like this. And as you can see, there's a pipe down there and it runs right here too. I think maybe that's one that they have removed. So guys, we're gonna have tea and lunch at the ferry house. How about that? Well, that's exactly two bottles of water and that is the fill line. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. This one there. Just so everybody knows, I'm using these because of times like this from storing it in my backpack. It's got a hole in it, but this has been purchased recently within the last couple months. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat it and make sure that we have fresh to eat when something really does go down. Super cool up here shaded yeah fall is upon us that it is figured we'd bring you guys up here i read a news article about it this morning and it said fairies i love this little thing yeah yeah that's pretty good investment yeah the whole setup. Yeah. I mean, this is quick and easy to all fit in that backpack. Mm -hmm. and you might have twenty dollars here. Fried rice. I tried to find some soy sauce in the little packets, but the the fast stop lane, whatever it was, didn't have none. Is that a little whistler? Yeah. Not quite. No. It's bullying at the bottom, <laughs> but it doesn't look like all of the water is hot. It's not my fault. Not a rolling boil. <laughs> Big bubbles, no troubles. Bask. Hey, it does have a whistler. Water's bull. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Calm it down. Calm it down. Ha! <sighs> yeah, three bags and then uh, some of the sugar. Oh, I do want it sweet. Is green tea with jasmine. Attack. <laughs> Let that cool off. <laughs> Alright guys and gals, we're going to go down here. And we are going to and eat our lunch. You got soppy? <laughs> Super soppy. Wait. Sounds like a Happy Meal. Can I get the super soppy Happy Meal? Super cool idea right there. Good job. Good job. Probably helps too to make sure nobody gets lost. Yeah, this whole row. Grapes. I Dude. popped one. I'll try it. It's got a little seed in it. Or musky dimes. <laughs> not gross, but it tastes like a, 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 a not ripe musky dime is what it tastes like. I'm assuming the whole area up here is uh, was Mr. Voorhees' area. And apparently he really, really cared about everybody that helped him up here, built them houses and made sure that they was happy. I think so, this is, this is uh, the Voorhees or Voorhees estate. Let me get some products. Rice get done. It may not have steamed for it because it holds. Yeah. Ah, that's good. No. It was probably the best one I made. I 
up and hook up the right time or whatever. There's more in the hole in it. Big piece of chicken. Yeah, big piece of chicken. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful, wonderful lunch in such a beautiful place. Look at that. You can't pay for, for scenery like that unless you work for the National Park Service, I guess. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that lunch with us in this beautiful place. This is Sid's Survival Guide.